The Social Technologies Developer Center is your one-stop shop for resources and support like developer docs and blog posts, but the majority of your time will probably be spent building and managing your apps. To start, you need a developer account. If you don't already have one, you can create a new account, or you can log in with your existing developer account. From there, select Create App. Start by choosing a use case that most closely aligns with the functionalities you need. Use cases make it quicker and easier to achieve your goals by pre-selecting the permissions and features and products you need to make your app work the way you want it to. We've created filters to help you find use cases that can help you achieve your goals. For example, when it comes to optimizing your ads campaigns, you may want to consider adding more than one marketing API use case. Each marketing API use case is designed to help you achieve specific ads-related objectives. This allows you to create a tailored solution that meets the unique needs of your ads campaigns and helps you achieve your desired outcomes. If you're unsure about the specific use cases you need at this time, don't worry. You can always add more use cases and customize them later once your app is created. In this case, let's imagine you want to build an app that allows you to connect with your customers over WhatsApp. You can add the connect with customers on WhatsApp use case, which will add all the required permissions to your app. After you add your use cases to the app you're creating, the dashboard will guide you through the steps required to customize your use cases, complete any testing or verification requirements, submit to app review, and finally to publish your app and make it functional. You can return to a specific step by going to the dashboard. Let's get back to the use case. The first step is customizing your use case. Click the customize steps for each use case found on the dashboard. There are many options for customizing a use case. To get the most out of your app, make sure to check out all of the pages listed on the left. The Permissions and Features tab is where you'll find all the added and available permissions and features for the use case. For now, permissions and features and products that are required for the use case to work cannot be removed. Keep in mind, different permissions and features can mean different requirements later in the process. Once you have customized your use case, you can continue to the next steps, testing and verification. Complete required API calls and make sure your business is verified. Both are required to submit to App Review and to publish your app. After completing that, you can submit for App Review. Here, you will provide the information about your app, your business, and how you plan to use the data you collect from Meta. Once Meta has approved your app review submission, the last step is to publish your app. Once published, the dashboard view will change to show a list of use cases on the app and insights into your app performance. After your app is published, you can make updates and add more anytime on the dashboard or on the use cases page. Keep in mind, adding more to your app after it's published may mean there are new requirements to maintain that access. We're excited to see you begin your developer journey with Meta. For more videos and resources, visit the Meta developer documentation.